Hello lovely people, uh, today is a miserable, miserable wet day. I would like to give you some updates on my install. So I had some spare time yesterday when I did, I installed the lithium. I didn't put the super cap bank yet, that's gonna be for the future, but for now I installed the DC-DC charger and the battery and another thing I'm gonna show you in the front Char car was charging overnight uh, I put this one so I had before a 175 amp uh, ANL fuse however that was so annoying because every time I want to work on the car I have to remove, re remove the main fuse just not to have anything flowing in the back so now I put a circuit breaker which is a 100 amp circuit breaker and it's just Pop it off if you just want to remove it and put it back in. It's just amazing because now I have these massive wires going to the back, but the current is 40 amps max, maybe 50 amps with efficiency because this is connected only to the DC-DC charger. This does not feed the main system, which was the kind of the goal of this wiring because now the whole system is totally separated from the car even the ground because this dc dc charger has an isolated ground so it doesn't share it with a car and basically i have those massive wires going into there but in reality it would be fine with like a 10 gauge or something just because it's only 40 ma amps max so it doesn't draw any more than that and from here i have 40 amps going into the battery the wiring uh actually the actual wire thickness gauge it's not set yet, it's just I put literally what I had to cut as little as possible. Because when the system is going to kind of settle, only then I'm going to run like proper size wires. So like this, I have 4 gauge running here, which is an overkill. Because now this is feeding only the sub front subwoofer. And 10 gauge is going to be perfectly fine, so there's no need for that. And yeah, I just have some lugs. So how now everything works is... I have power coming from the front into the DC DC in here and 40 amps max well maybe 50 with efficiency coming in uh, DC DC it's a 40 amp charger so it charges the lithium and the lithium goes directly into the distribution blocks and into the systems and there's no shared ground as I mentioned it's isolated so basically the ground from the battery goes into the amplifiers and the DSP. So now the only issue with the DCD charger is that I was trying to find like a fuse in the engine bay so that it would turn on only when the engine is on, but I couldn't find it. So the only real solution is to connect it. There's the sense wire. So this wire, it turns on the DC-DC charger. Uh, the only real solution would be to go directly into the alternator, which is supposed to be done according to the manual, but it's very tricky to get there. So my plan is to have this wire on a like a voltage sensing uh, circuit or a timed relay. So if I'm gonna leave like two minutes, timed it will gonna be like if i turn on ignition when i'm gonna start driving in two minutes this dc dc charger kicks in or with a voltage uh, sensing thing the plan is if you set it because there's variable circuits so if you set it to enable this wire from like 13 volts that means that while the engine is not on the lead acid in the front floats at like 12.8 12.6 uh, this DC DC charger is not going to be turned on even with ignition on but when the voltage goes above 13 when the alternator starts charging then it's going to be turned on because this is a dumb thing so it's just if it senses 12 volts it enables it, it doesn't have like uh, above 13 below 13 but for now just for like a week until I'm going to have my relays coming from China I wired it in directly into the ignition. So now ignition on starts charging. So it's not ideal, but it's just for a bit. It's not a problem at all. And there where I had kind of a problem with the remote turn on because the remote turns on from the factory uh, kind of ignition system. However, this DSP doesn't share a ground with the factory anything 
because now ground is separate so what i had to do i put a little relay that uh, engages because i hijacked the wire from the positive so basically positive goes directly into the remote in via relay and relay is toggled by the factory remote signal so it's kind of a tricky but now what i have is totally isolated system uh ground is not sharing the positive is not sharing nothing is shared with the main system and now the only thing is i just made a little bracket there it's not moving anywhere it's totally fine i have a spacer a spacer from like foam just to have some like buffer this one is here so it's not gonna move basically this battery it's not moving it is moving a little bit but it's not moving like it's not gonna fall out or anything and yeah there's gonna be some wires swapping around because i don't need this two gauge going into that terams so somebody asked where is your terams is there it's uh hidden under there so nobody could see it but yeah this is a little short update with the dc dc and lithium installed and next part is gonna be the super caps so i'm gonna put the super caps here and i'm gonna put these fuse blocks maybe on this baffle here at the bottom because there's loads of space or maybe a bit lower somewhere yeah i'm gonna figure something out so yeah it's very very cold windy and a bit rainy so i'm gonna go home thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one